Hey, what's up? Welcome to another Roberts Productions video tutorial. Today I am going to be remaking the how to add sound in Adobe After Effects CS3 tutorial because I have read all these comments and seen that a lot of people are having problems with inserting uh, waveforms files, waveform files dot wave. Um, as for shiny spatch, thanks for the vid. I can't seem to add sound either. I'm using a waveform, so what gives? Is it because I'm using a trial version? Also, when you clicked to make movie at the bottom of the page, I didn't have all the buttons you had. Well, that is uh, the trial version, and it's limited. Um, apparently, four two five six fourteen fifteen. It worked for him or her. Doesn't play a sound when I put it into my video. How do you convert MP3 to waveform? Don't even read that one. It won't work with me. So. Um, I'm just going to remake this whole tutorial in all. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open Adobe After Effects CS3, the paid version, not the trial. Okay. Uh, the limitations with the trial version is that, first of all, it's only a 30-day trial. And second of all, it won't let you do all of the things that you can do on the paid version. So, um, if you're on a trial version, it'll only let you insert dot waveforms or dot wave sound files. If you're on the regular version that it's paid for, then it'll let you in, uh, insert MP3 files. What we're going to be working on today is this Spark text. I have the resolution all the way down so that it'll work a little bit faster. Um, well, we're going to be adding sound to this, and I think it messed up because it used to be different, but anyway, we can still add some sound. First thing I want to show you, here's my sounds folder. I have a waveform, and I have an mp3 form. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example by hitting this waveform, playing it. And that works. Okay. I like that sound, so I'm just going to click and drag it into my project. Okay. Once I do that, it shows up here the big day dot wave. Now if I want to put sound into this composition, I just drag this big day sound file down into the composition. Just like that. Now if I hit LL, I'll get the waveform, which is it? I don't know. It's a straight line, but uh We'll see what happens. Okay, render it out. And you have, you have, that's why it doesn't have a waveform because it's so uh, short. But you can see how that works. That actually, that spark kind of makes a cool sound with this. Okay. And it's actually a little bit wider than I thought. Okay, so that's a wave file. Now, for me, all I have to do to enter an MP3 file is just click and drag it into my project and then drag it down into my composition and it'll go there. I'll delete this one and it'll be here. LL probably has the, you can see the waveforms, okay? So you can line those up how you want them. Um, 
So now if I render this again, it should have Linkin Park what I've done. And see, I can drag this. Drag this more. See? And that's an MP3 file. Now, if you're in a trial version, I'm going to show you how you can convert an MP3 to WAVE. Our first method is if you have a converter. I have a magic video converter. You can have a sound converter. Any kind of converter. Okay. I'm going to go down here to wave. Okay. All I have to do is open my sound files, drag my mp3 file into the input file name, and then hit convert and it's converting to wave form. So now if I go to my sounds I have Linkin Park what I've done in wave form and it should still sound the same. Okay now that's one method that's if you have a converter and I know a lot of converters out there aren't free. If you're lucky you can get a free one but it may not be as good. So another way we can do this if, is if we use Audacity. Audacity is a free sound editing program. You can get it from audacity.sourceforge.net Okay, up here. And you can go down here, download Audacity for Windows. And they also have the beta version. It is also available for Mac OS X. So if we are in a DAW city and we drag our .mp3 file, Linkin Park, what I've done into here, and I select, well, actually just leave it like that. And if I go to File, Export as Wait. Okay, and I can click, I, I'll put dash 2, Save. Exports here, link a park, what I've done, dash two, and that's a wave in a wave format. Those are some simple ways to add sound into your Adobe After Effects CS3 project. Now, if you're using a trial version, I'm not sure if it even lets you put any sounds in waveform or MP3, but it uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't let you put them in MP3, maybe in waveform. Let me know. Uh, but uh, if you use those converters and convert everything to wave dot waveform or wave, um, then you can insert your files into your project and drag them down to your composition. It's just as simple as that. Drag them down to your composition. Press LL to see the waveforms and you can drag this to where you want it. Obviously this sound file doesn't have the waveform because it's so short. Um, but uh, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, please contact me. You can send me a message on YouTube. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please rate, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Hopefully this tutorial was a lot clearer and understanding. We've also got some new software for tutorial creating so hopefully my voice is a lot clearer and uh, uh, thank you for watching until next time take care